PlayStation game called Medal of Honor, which they had played earlier that day. In the game, players use Molotov cocktails and machine guns. Police say the homemade bomb was extremely dangerous. To some Australians, the perfect storm is more than a movie. One of them actually caught the storm on tape as it ripped through the town of Dubbo last night. Emergency workers there spent today fixing roofs and adding up the damage, which is already in the millions of dollars. Homes in one suburb, along with a shopping center, factories, and a hospital amongst the hardest hit areas. Right now, it seems the worst we have to worry about these days is our ride to work in the morning. That sometimes gets hairy, but I understand Brett over there in the Dulapo XL Storm Center won't be that bad tomorrow. No, it's not going to be too bad at all tomorrow morning. It looks like it's smooth sailing. We're checking some uh, light snow right now on dual Doppler XL here tonight. And most of it not even making it to the ground. Just snow flurry activity, especially out over Lake Erie and over to the east side toward Ashtabula and Lake County. As per precision cast, if you watched us at 6.30, it's exactly what it was predicting. The snow to stay mainly in the northern sections. And notice how it's falling apart. So it's very light. Don't expect to use the snow shovels or the snow blowers tomorrow or have any problems making it into downtown or on your way to school tomorrow morning. All right, let's go out. There. Hey, look at this. Frosty, the snow person. This is down in Brooklyn. Seven-year-old, what did you say? Nice arms. Nice arms, exactly. <laughs> hey, not bad for a seven-year-old. Gina Arroyo, who lives in Brooklyn. She built this with the help of her dad because it is eight feet tall. So that makes me about 14 feet tall, which would make me the tallest human on record. So it's not true. It's, uh, I'm about 5'7". 32 degrees right now outside. Let's go to the WeatherNet location. That's going to be here downtown. We've got a light west wind right now. Humidity 71%. And your barometer is slowly rising at this time. All right, check the temps across the lakeshore. They look like this. 34 at Akron, 34 at Ravenna, 33 at Elyria, and 32 downtown at the uh, television station. Overnight, we're expecting temps to drop to about 27 degrees with just a few snow flurries, but the morning rush hour again looks nice and dry. Noontime tomorrow, our high temperature 28 degrees with some snow showers. We're having a low pressure system just move across Lake Huron, and it's kind of weakening, but notice Buffalo getting snow 22nd day in a row. That's happening. For us, we're still watching the low pressure system with precision cast, but it's keeping all of the flurry and light shower, snow shower activity north. Tomorrow morning's rush hour dry but cloudy. Some breaks in the clouds out to the west. But notice what, ha what happens around 10 a.m. tomorrow. The Lake Huron fetch actually kicks in because Lake Erie is about 90 to 95 percent ice covered. We're actually going to get a strong enough north wind where we could see some snow showers west of downtown. They'll fade in the afternoon, but the fetch will come back in tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. And uh, it looks like we may get a little heavier band, perhaps Medina County into Summit County. You might be looking at an inch or more in those areas. And thawing out, well, that's what it looks like later on this week. High pressure down over the southeast. But now, colder air is going to keep the winds from coming up out of the south and kind of de deflect them to the west. So our high temperatures now Thursday into Friday, only looking 37 to 43 instead of 43 to 47. Oh, darn. It's still warm. It's above freezing. And remember, I'm 14 feet tall. Clouds, sun mixed tomorrow, scattered snow showers, let's say a less than an inch accumulation. And then tomorrow night we'll reevaluate things and uh, give you more details on that. High temperature, 28 degrees tomorrow. Seven day forecast like this flurries early Tuesday morning, 27 degrees, but we're all the way up to 39 degrees on Wednesday, 40 degrees on Thursday. Wow, nice warm up. 37 with uh, rain snow mix on Friday, rain snow mix again on Saturday, and then all rain likely on Sunday with a high temperature around 42 degrees. Alicia? You are larger than life, Brett. <laughs> Thank you. Well, people use the internet for all kinds of things, shopping, business, communicating with friends, but some local doctors are using it for something truly unique. Monday on Home Team 19 News at 6, Cynthia Tinsley shows you how experts are going online to treat their patients. But first up, when we come back on Home Team 19 News, is Art Modell's team taking the next step? Gary's up with all your sports highlights. And get a look at one neighborhood's newest hot spot, or should we say cold spot. Stay with us. Take my advice. I would like you to start giving priority to the juicier calls. You ask for it. Let's all get naked. Hey, I'm getting naked right now. <laughs> On Fraser, Monday at 7.30 on Home Team 19. High performance just took a turn in the right direction. The Lincoln LS with advanced track and all-speed traction control. It automatically knows when it's slippery and helps you steer clear, no matter what's down the road. 
Now Lincoln LS offers exceptional lease rates along with three-year 30...